I'm Audra Stafford at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood, where some very prestigious guests have gathered to unite for In the Heights. In the Heights, I buy my coffee and I go, I buy In the Heights is getting ready to head to Southern California for the first time on tour. And this week, Los Angeles rolled out the welcome mat. Welcome to the Pantages Theater for our evening of Unite for In the Heights. Two of the show's most high-profile fans spoke about their love of the show. My only frustration when I saw In the Heights on Broadway the first time was that I didn't have anything to do with it. And its creator, Lin-Manuel Miranda. I haven't been starstruck in a long time until tonight when I met Lin-Manuel. Then actor Tony Plana sat down with Miranda for an in-depth conversation about the show's evolution from college production to Tony Award-winning hit. The Wesleyan version of Heights was like Steamboat Willie versus the Broadway version uh, you now see. Um, it was an 80-minute, one-act show, and it was five drafts and six years and 65 songs that didn't make it to the final Broadway version. The casting has also been a huge undertaking. It's almost impossible to cast this show. Usnavi is its own thing because it's this weird skill set of rapping two and a half hours and you had to have grown up with me to be able to do it. One choice for Usnavi in particular, Corbin Blue got the Broadway World message boards buzzing. That got people talking a little bit, some good, some not so good about the casting choice. And then you felt compelled to jump on the message boards on Broadway World and, and talk about that. Why did you feel compelled to do that? Well, you know, it's funny. Someone actually wrote me a rhymed question. Why cast Corbin? Were you involved? And, and, and I have to say, I was. And, you know, Corbin originally came in to audition for Benny. And he was so charming and so effortless. And all of the things we need for Usnavi came so easily to him that we said, this guy is Usnavi. It was actually our producer, Jeffrey Sellers, said, this guy is an Usnavi. And he was fantastic. And, uh, you know, I, I think we can talk about ethnicity as, as a, in casting as adults. It's, it's a factor, but it's just a factor. You know, Corbin is not Latino, but he's unbelievable. So, so why not? And what, what's been really gratifying is to see the show get re-reviewed and him get all these great notices. And uh, really, people gave him a chance and embraced him. Uh, so it's, it's really fantastic to you can reinvent yourself at 21 years old. Corbin Blue has done it in this role. He has accepted the challenge and he has done the work and he's tearing it up. It took a year to cast the touring production of In the Heights and after more than six months on the road, it's showing no signs of slowing down. The tour is, is just doing so fantastically. It's such an amazing squad we have uh, representing us. So, um, you know, it was really great to get like Kenny here and, uh, and, and just to say nice things. And, you know, uh, for, two, for two years, for over two years now, audiences have been jamming into the theater in New York, standing ovations, people cheering at the top of their voices. Uh, Los Angeles is going to love this show. And I hear it's only going to be here for like something like five weeks. Like so get your tickets, really, get your tickets. Then go see it again in San Diego, July 27th through August 1st. For BroadwayWorld.com, I'm Audra Stafford.